two visits to the board, two maxis, all equals a nine dart bid coming up from the bully boy. <laughs> Plug gets pulled on the seventh start. Michael Smith, but what a start nevertheless. Uh, Michael Smith, who hit one in Dublin a few years ago in the Premier League, can't do it here. But, like you said, Rod, like what you said, it's a good start for Michael Smith. Never got a foothold in the tie last week. Well, a hold of throw, and it could be a holding style here. Got time, that's an 11 dart hole. Brilliant start tonight for Michael Smith. Is the break that Peter Wright never had to get in this match. If he's going to win the match, he needed a break. Michael Smith didn't throw him first, will throw first the remainder of the night if he gets through. Now then, needs to trouble for the ball. And he finds it. Bullseye for the bully boy. Well, a scare for Peter Wright on his throw here, but he can calm those nerves by hitting tops. Work his way down, it's a good guy, and he does work his way down. Peter Wright moving through the gears now. It's not looking like the outcome he wants here because, as well as he played, he's staring down a double break here. Peter Wright, Just some display from the world number one so far. Wow. There we go. Great camera on that 180. Double top then. And in he goes. Peter, Peter Wright really rattling Six along now. Averaging 112 and change here. Straight back. He missed a couple of these in Rotterdam to win the match against Michael Van Gerwen and then he's fluffed his lines again. It, that is the Achilles heel of Michael Peter Smith. He seems to just rush himself. He's a quick thrower anyway, but he just, yeah, and he's counting the doubles missed. Um, effectively, this could be matched out if Peter Wright takes the one away. Well, allow me to assist you, Michael. That's five straight doubles missed. One of them was the bull at the back end of that 1 2 6. And you expect this to go. You expect it to go, double 16, and it's hey, gone. Shot on the set leg. Peter Wright. Got the throw. That should do the trick for the world champion. And just being afforded to have having time to set up a He may go 25 here. No, he goes, takes the gamble, brilliant leg from Peter Wright, 24 after 12, Michael Smith staring at a third quarter-final defeat in three successive weeks, Peter Wright for the match. Double 12 it is, to cap it off. And it's been super sneaky in the opening match in Leeds. He won the Masters, he's got him his spot here. He won the Premier League on debut, won the Grand Prix, won the World Series, a darts final, and he's out to defend his title here. I expect him to be in the playoffs, and I don't think he cares in what capacity he's there. He'd like to finish top, but once he's there, he know he can do the job. Oh, a loose one from Clayton. And it gives Cullen a squeak. It's a big outside shot, the 1-6-4. It won't go. So Clayton will return for double 16 and a 2-0 lead for the number two in the table. The 47-year-old Welshman who has taken the darting world by storm, really, during the pandemic and beyond. It's amazing, we were talking backstage that he's ninth in the world. Only ninth, Johnny Clayton, because he keeps winning the non-ranking tournaments. Top tops. Unlucky. But again, Joe Cullen on the Johnny Clayton one, throw, Vido scraps. It was 1-6-4 in leg two, 1-6-7 here. So, Clayton, no real pressure either, should here restore the two-leg buffer. Double ten for Clayton. Yeah, the full bag. Right in the middle. The is Joe to throw first. And a 3-1 lead here. Average below 90, it was only the third time in Premier League that he's averaged below 90, so one, it was a concerning third. performance for Michael last week, but put it right the weekend, and we are looking forward to that semi-final a bit later on. It was good set up by Cullen, but Clayton has the chance, can't get it, so 62 to hold throw and close the deficit.
It has to go, Joe, it really does. He knows what he requires. That could be in. a double break for Johnny Clayton, and we could be staring at a repeat scoreline from week one. It was 6-2 to Johnny. Double break in coming, and that is a double break, and Johnny Clayton has had open opportunities. Johnny Clayton, who was... His average just dropped, it was sort of 131, around 104, 105 at one point, but... How about 98, but it's more than good enough. That was an excellent visit by Cullen. Oh, and just misses there, Johnny Clayton. So, he will return, the rock star. But he's under pressure with this 130. Johnny Clayton just overcommitted to the treble 14 there. Drifting to 11, you see that a lot. Bullseye for Callan. Big bad break. Drink. 95. Only require 40. So to tidy up for a 5-1 lead. Double 10. Thomas Sigberg, Johnny Clayton. Nails it again. More frustration from Joe. Good work from Clayton. But he's got six starts, Callan. Trouble 16, trouble 20, uh, 64. T and F. But we saw Michael Smith, his game turned on a 68 finish that he didn't get with Peter Wright in turn got. And Peter Wright oh, added pressure on the 68. Here All sorts 16. of pressure on Cullen here. Sensational setup from Clayton. Has to hit the double for it. Doesn't. So three match starts at double 16. And you don't see him missing them. Second. It's in. It's 6 1. Tops, tops. That was a terrible dart for tops. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously felt that if he could get just over that flight, that it was a decent enough marker. Yeah, just remember, it was Wayne who got that run, not Wayne Marvel. True, exactly. Now tops. Definitely tops. 8 for 32. That's a terrible <laughs> dart at tops. Double 10. That is a great dart at double 10. And Wayne, an absolute master about in winning games where he apparently is second best. Can you? Can you? Go on then. Bullseye. Oh, right that on. was a well thrown dart. As well as the two nine dances in Belfast, he took out the 170 in the first match and all, didn't it? Incredible. An amazing night of darts. It was like us. an exhibition. Double ten again for the third time in this match. And this time he can't find it. Big moment that. For a level game, he's dominating the scoring, but he's not 13. dominating the score line because James, James Wade, 20. if he can pop double 10 for the third time, which he's he can, he takes a 3 1. James Wade, no, he can't take that out now. The 108. And he's to leave that infamous double 10 again. Again, yes. Can he take out 208 or 288? Sorry, that is a real poor dart. It's a couple of times now. For a We've seen this movie before tonight. Has it got the same final scene? Maybe not. Here he goes. Good save. Best scoring visits in this match, or his best One legs actually, get him in price. He's had an 11 darter, now he's on another 11 darter, but Rod, he's done it on his own darts. Yeah. And he's going to need to do it against if he's oh, going to win this match. Double 18. 11 darter. It's a up of five a piece. the right time. And James Wade has done that a lot in this match doesn't even go for the 51 he'll leave hey, tops see what will happen Rodri he'll miss tops and hit double 10 odds on 
and Gerwin Price can do absolutely nothing about this. He's now, his fate is in James Wade's left hand. Tops for the match. In it goes, and James Wade with a match. But it's a big ask. Where are you going, Peter? He's not going 60 tops. I like this. He's just doing it a different way. I don't dislike that, it's absolutely fine. He thinks, yeah, he thinks that he's not going to get another poke. Nothing wrong with that, almost come off, and with Peter Wright, similar situation, but to back up your point, Wayne, it's trickier on the last star. Yeah. Michael Van Gerwen. Difficult. Yeah, could have been splitting, but Peter Wright had the luxury of laying out. Off he goes, steady on, Peter. Just going for a little wonder. Double eight. The 3 2 in this first semi final. Wow. You'll hear us say every now and again when a player lets go, they think it's in. He thought it was in. Hence why he walks. Tops! That was unfortunate. That could have been a game changer. Well, Peter right now wants double two. For a hold of throw, you might want to faff around here. He hit this in the previous match against Michael Smith, the double two. He did it first half. Going further away. Could this be the game changing line? Six missed starts of doubles for Peter Wright. He was afforded the luxury of laying up the one two one and he hasn't finished it off. Is this the first break? Well, you mentioned it just a minute or so ago about having a bit of luck and running with it. Van Gerwen has had that luck. He didn't run with it. He's right. Going to get away with it. Yeah, on the fifth leg. Peter. He should get a couple more. Well, he may get a couple more here. Hope to get one. Here's the one at ball for the first break. 101. Here we go. 106. For a hold of throw, it's going to feel like a break. So, Van Gerwen, are you convinced he'll hit it, Wayne? The 25? Oh, yes, that, that. <laughs> of course, I am. Hold on, hold on. L let me see it go in. No, I am not. Yes, I am. That was a good switch. I don't think that's too much to be concerned about. Well, that's his fifth. It's over the 5 one forties. Right. Needs to get this right. Well, it was a cracking effort for oh, all those yeah. the last three darts. But right is going to throw tonight. Brilliant marker. Yeah, it is a mark. Clayton averaged 111 when he beat Wade last week in Birmingham. Also beat him in the semi-final in week one in Cardiff. But found Peter Wright too good in the final that night. Wade beat Johnny the weekend on the Pro Tours as well, so... Looking for an early break, double 18. Not really his way to go, sometimes a triple seven for double 10. Man, but time is it up. Bet James Wade to get rid of the 60. Johnny hasn't got going here. Wow, Similar to the start that Cullen made against him. And Johnny ran away with the time. He's got to be careful. The roles could be reversed here. This for 2 0. Good marker. Wow. And even he's a bit surprised. It's not in James. But Johnny to steal the second leg. Either way, the Feder is getting away with one. But errors here. Just stepping back. 66. 17. Dear me, Johnny. Well, he's going to return and hear Russ Bray telling him he requires six and then. They're probably one of these sort of sheepish smiles that creep across his face. But it could cost him. No smile here. All business. Can he hit the bottom of the board? Uh, well, that's a shambles, really. Isn't it? 
Yeah, it's a shambles. He should be down there, and it's it's something that Johnny has eliminated a little bit, but it does crop up. And James Wade for a steal here, a leg. Johnny had to, got a chance to take control of the match. Good setter, but Johnny Clayton is a bit of a master at the 1 2 1. Yeah, it's very much his signature shot, isn't it, Mark? Treble 17, the way out. Yes. Couldn't hit the bullseye, though. James, James Wade, who took his opportunity in the previous leg, is he going to take it again here and move in front? Gets the reflection, it's in. That means Wade has two visits to the board here to clean that 116. May only need the one. Tops for the match. James Wade is that a match that the win here would see him go into the top four and meet Prop Joe Cullen. Minimum three points puts him on 13. And unless he fluffs his lines, Johnny Clayton. James Wade dreams of having three darts at double ten to win darts. But he certainly wins here. Better than anyone else, let me tell you that. Maybe not the break this time with Wade on a hundred and a good first start. Celebrated his birthday yesterday and misses his favourite double ten today. And how costly is that? Huge. Sheesh. Bullseye. to go for it treble 14 that is cheeky double eight 108 okay 161. it's not the normal route when james wade is on 161 because but michael does this he kind of plays these Nine. these tiny little mind games with players 61. where they they will go for the finish thinking you didn't think i'll get this and michael yeah, on that occasion was right he's now just two legs away been nothing bad is there he had the bye so he had a little bit of extra time to prepare oh, I'm not sure whether that helps or not with the rhythm but I'll tell you what semi-final and final these look fabulous yeah I don't think it'd matter to someone as has been round the block as many times as MVG he's so seen it all hasn't he and he's gonna nail it surely double eight Yes, indeed. 5-1. His worst three darts he threw was when he took out 68. <laughs> Two more trebles. Ooh, and a third. What a setup from Michael Van Gerwen. Champions who get knocked back find a way to come back. Ooh, and is 2022 becoming the year that Michael Van Gerwen really returns to the fold? Double four. Jesus. It is 6-1.